Have you ever played Fable 2 and wished you could go fishing? Wished there were new quests so that you could change an old one in some way? Wished you could use Garth's shield spell? Wished you could smite your foes with exploding chickens? Wished experience orbs would just stop falling down holes? Wished your hero didn't look like a slab of meat with eyes? Wished death was more punishing? How about an entire combat rebalance? Well all of this, and infinitely more, is now possible with Fable 2's very first script modding framework. I call it Archon's Toolbox. I designed the framework to be incredibly easy to use. Installation is as easy as navigating to your games folder and clicking the patch button. Once that's done, add mods with the install button. The next time you load up your game, the mods will automatically start. This applies to both new games and existing saves. An in-depth tutorial is in the cards now. Let's take a closer look at what's possible with the framework. Here I'll show off my fishing mod in detail. To start fishing, I open the mod's configuration menu and enter fishing mode. I can now start fishing at any body of water in the game by walking over to it and pressing A. I could have spawned intractable objects at major pools of water that would start fishing, but it would be too limiting for where the player wants to fish. Now we wait. The time we wait is dependent on the type of fish we use for bait, if any. Looks like we've attracted something which we'll be able to catch glimpses of as it thrashes around in the water. The moving bar at the top represents the fish. The stationary pip represents our hook. At some point, the fish will cross, just like that, to the other side of the meter. That is when we strike. However, to make it a little easier for myself, I'm going to toss in a bottle of Balverine Spleen beer so that the fish is a bit more docile. Don't tell anyone. And it looks like the Corte sword. That was lucky. Loot tables are regional, which means depending on which region I'm fishing in, I could have caught something very different. Since I'm in Bowerstone, I appear to have caught the sword of a drunkard who'd fallen into the river, which is worth thousands. If I was in Bower Lake, I could have caught a rare rogueman. I've balanced the mod so it's essentially a fourth job. It's extremely lucrative when fully upgraded while fishing in the best spots, even more lucrative than a five star job. Catching a fish, or any other item, gives us XP depending on how hard it was to catch, which is based off its monetary value. I'm going to spend my XP in the upgrades menu now. As you can see, there's a decent selection of upgrades. The ability to throw that beer into the water was granted by the sedation upgrade. But that's enough about my fishing mod. Let's talk specifics about the manager. While it's mainly designed to work on the Xenia emulator, it should also be compatible with modded Xbox 360s. It's also technically usable on normal 360s and series consoles if you have a 360, but I won't go into that. Mod authors, you haven't been forgotten. It's not only incredibly easy to install mods, but to create them too. A mod can be composed of just two basic plain text files in a single folder. With the runtime code loader, you can develop your mod in real time. Once your mod has been developed, just zip it up and share it. I've created a tutorial series so you can learn how to make a mod from scratch. Link in the cards now. For the in-game side of things, the framework provides a mod configuration menu that lets you configure mods however you want, whenever you want. The buttons in the menus don't have to just be for configuring things though, they can do whatever the mod author wishes. As we saw earlier in the fishing mod, I used the menu to start fishing. Archon's Toolbox is free and available for download now at the Archon's Toolbox repository on GitHub. I made this all on my own, so if you want to show your appreciation and support me, consider joining my Patreon. If you want to learn more about Fable 2 modding, join my Discord server. Links are in the description. And of course, to my current patrons, Wintilda and Witchbitch 2.0, thank you both for your prolonged support. Thank you for watching.